It's no secret that an athlete will do whatever it takes to perform at the highest level. Game day rituals, routines, and strange superstitions are all part of the process. And if we're being honest, hockey may have the strangest superstitions of them all. So today, we're diving into some of the most outlandish and hilarious superstitions that we've ever seen in the game. From pre-game puking to lucky laces, some of these superstitions will shock you. Let's dive Dive in. Mr. Goalie. If you know your hockey history, you'll nod in respect for this goaltending titan from the 50s and 60s. Hailed as Mr. Goalie, Glenn Hall is most famously known for being an Iron Man between the pipes, playing in a staggering 502 consecutive games between the pipes without missing a minute, a record that still stands today. But Hall's success had a rather unusual fuel. Before each game, before the cheers and the tension, Hall had a ritual that would make most of us shrink. He believed in the power of throwing up. What began as a case of nerves soon became his unshakable pregame routine. Hall was convinced he played at his peak if he vomited before hitting the ice. While it isn't uncommon for players to have their pregame rituals and routines, some might have a precise order for donning their equipment or specific songs they listen to for that adrenaline kick. But Hall's ritual was a first, and one we will probably never see again. The Great One now, you might think that with all that talent, what needs did Gretzky have for superstitions? But that's where it gets interesting. Gretzky had a weird, specific drink sequence he followed religiously before every game. It started with a Diet Coke, followed by ice water, a hit of Gatorade, and guess what? He rounded it all off with another Diet Coke. It's almost rhythmic, like a pregame dance only with beverages. But that's not all. Ever notice his hair? Well, he would never let scissors near those locks when the team was on the road. And on the rare occasion that he did, well, let's just say the results weren't pretty on the scoreboard. When it comes to his gear up routine, it was iconic. Slipping on his jersey, he'd always start with the left side, then the right side neatly tucked in every single time. And onto that hockey stick that saw so many goals, a dash of baby powder was sprinkled on the bottom, a small gesture for that extra sprinkle of luck. Connor mixed socks. In the spotlight of hockey, where every move is scrutinized, Connor McDavid's talent is undeniable. But behind the dazzling goals and jaw-dropping assists lies a peculiar secret that might just surprise you. In a recent revelation on Sportsnet, McDavid shared a ritual that's as unique as his on-ice magic. Believe it or not, the key to his unparalleled success might be a pair of socks. A single, worn-out pair that he dons for both practices and games. They're discolored, fraying, and not the most pleasant sight. But for McDavid, these socks are more than just fabric. They symbolize his unwavering commitment. McDavid wasn't swayed even when the equipment company stopped producing his beloved sock type. Instead of switching, he clung to them, letting them wear out with every game. And by looking at McDavid's staggering stats year in and year out, one can't help but wonder, maybe there's some magic in those socks after all. Lucky Dung In the first round of the 1974-75 playoffs, the New York Islanders played the New York Rangers and quickly found themselves trailing three games to none. It was an uphill climb, a near impossible feat. But then, something strange graced the Islanders locker room. An unexpected token of luck, a bag of elephant dump. Now, you might wonder, how did such an interesting item find its way into a hockey locker room. As fate would have it, a circus had taken residence in Madison Square Garden before the Islanders series against the New York Rangers. A friend of Billy Harris had jokingly given the Islanders training staff a bag of elephant dung, a symbol of their poor performance in the series thus far. However, the Islanders kept the bag as motivation and went on to defeat the Rangers in seven games. And believe it or not, that bag of dung carried them all the way to the conference finals that year. Patty's Posts. 
Now, most of us might find solace in hanging out with loved ones or friends after a long day. For Hua, his trusted friends were none other than cold metal goalposts. He often found himself whispering to those silent pillars guarding his net. It's almost poetic when you think about it. The man and his metal guardians, united in their mission to keep the puck out. He was even quoted saying, they are my friends. Whatever works, right Patrick? But Waugh's relationship with the posts was just one of the rituals that defined his illustrious career. Game days, for him, were sacred. Reporters, they'd have to wait. Waugh couldn't entertain their questions. Inside the locker room, his routine was no less meticulous. Each piece of his goalie equipment was laid out in a particular order, awaiting its turn to be donned as if preparing for battle. The Sid Way. In the high Octane world of hockey, Sidney Crosby stands out not just for his unparalleled skills, but for his unique set of superstitions. While some players might have a lucky sock or a pregame ritual, Crosby's list is detailed and distinctive. He meticulously avoids the visiting team's locker room, choosing a roundabout path just to steer clear. His hockey stick is taped with precision using only the home team's tape, and once it's set, no one else can touch it. But it doesn't end there. Every game day, Crosby crafts a specific peanut butter and jelly sandwich, adhering to his chosen brands. Phone calls, especially from his mom, are off limits on game days. And as his team leaves the ice, he's always second to last in line, right before Evgeny Malkin, with whom he also shares a special pregame handshake with. Loads of laces. While almost all players have some sort of pregame ritual, adjusting their gear in a certain way, taping sticks in a particular manner. For Bork, his focus was on his skates or more precisely, the laces. Every intermission saw Bork meticulously changing his skate laces, casting aside the old and lacing up with the new. And once those laces were off, they'd never see the light of day or the gleam of the ice ever again. In a staggering 826 games, the man went through an astounding 10,956 sets of laces. That's not just dedication, that's a commitment on a whole different level. And while environmentalists might shake their heads at the sheer number of discarded laces, one can't help but marvel at the quirks that make up the tapestry of this great sport. For Bork, it wasn't just about playing the game, but how he prepared for it, right down to the laces that kept him grounded on the ice. Playoff Beards In the midst of on-ice battles and intense rivalries, one popular NHL tradition stands out amongst the rest. Enter the Playoff Beard. When the puck finally drops on playoff hockey each season, razors across the league find themselves taking a well-deserved break. Players begin to sport messy faces, letting their facial hair grow unchecked. The reason, a collective sign of unity, a badge of determination, and perhaps a dash of superstition. The longer the beard, the closer the team is to hoisting Lord Stanley's mug. This hairy tradition traces its roots back to the New York Islanders of the 1980s, as they skated their way to an impressive four consecutive Stanley Cup victories, they believed that setting aside their razors would tip the scales of luck in their favor. And whether it was the beards or pure skill, they certainly had had a winning streak to show for it. And there you have it, folks. From the bizarre to the borderline crazy, the world of hockey is filled with unique rituals. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Which of these superstitions surprised you the most? And then on your side, do you have a quirky game day ritual or superstition of your own? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more.